when your shirt gets a little too hairy, you just gotta shave it off. Oh no! I'm gonna need a band-aid. Hey guys, it's Julia, and this video is 10 clothing life hacks that won't cost you a dime, or a nickel, or a penny, basically any money because it's using only household products, so you might have them, or your mom might have them, or your dad might have them, or your brother might have them, or your sister might have them. They're all just common household products that most people have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe, and also hit the little bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And if we can get this video to 40,000 likes, that would be extra, extra amazing. Also, if you didn't already know, I am holding a 2 million subscriber giveaway where I'm giving away this Canon camera to the YouTube winner, and all you gotta do for that is just be subscribed to my channel. And then I'm also giving another prize to the Instagram winner, and it's this iPad Air 2, and all you gotta do for that is be subscribed to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and then tag three friends in the picture that I linked below of the prize. And this is totally optional, but if you wanna add some additional entries, just follow me on Twitter and Snapchat. You can just screenshot this little thing right here. The winner will be announced on March 1st, so check back in then. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. If this ever happens to your bra strap, then you know how annoying it is to keep pulling it back up again and again and again. You can literally do this at school. All you need is a paper clip, you just hook it around your bra straps and you're good. Okay, now my bra straps are super secure in an X formation and there's no way that they're gonna fall down and annoy me. Also, added bonus to this, if you have itty bitty titties, it'll give you an extra lift. So when you get a little tear in your tights, just apply a few coats of clear nail polish to the tear and it'll stop it from expanding. My mama taught me this. To keep your fly from never veering off flight and falling down again, just take a keychain and then attach it to the zipper and then hook it to the button and close your pants like normal. Now no one will ever tell you to XYZ again. Apparently nail files aren't just good for shaving your nails. Um, excuse my pinky nail. I took a trip and we'll be back till next month. So if you got a suede shoe with some scuff marks, all you gotta do is take the nail file and just file the scuffs and it'll be good as new. Typically I'm pretty lazy and don't wait for my deodorant to dry before putting my shirt on. Okay, that's a lie. I usually just put on my deodorant while wearing my shirt and then this happens. Excuse my hairy armpit. This happens. Go ahead and grab a baby wipe, like so, and wipe the stain away. And like magic, the stain is gone. Oh my god, I sounded like a corny commercial for household cleaning products. So, if you don't own an ironing board, but you got a little wrinkle in your fancy clothes, you can take a straightening iron and then run it over the wrinkle to straighten it out, just like you would your hair. Just be careful not to hold the flat iron on it too long because you don't want to actually burn your shirt. So, when clothes get old, the fabric sometimes starts to ball up on cotton, and I didn't know this for the longest time, but it's actually called pills. These little things are, it's like pilly. And I used to just say that like, my sweaters grew balls and I can't wear them anymore, but no. Actually, I was so, so happy when I found this hack because it saved a lot of my clothing. So all you gotta do is just take a razor and then shave the little pills away. Ah, you gotta touch my pants, they feel so smooth. Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only loser who has had the perfect outfit picked out for school and then when it came to brushing your teeth, has had this happen. But wait, it gets worse. So then you think, all right, I'm just gonna put some water on it, get it off real quick. But you've had this happen before and water has never worked. So you end up just putting the water on, going to school anyway, and still having the chalky white stain. Clearly this has happened to me multiple times. Basically the titanium dioxide powder in toothpaste is what causes the white chalky stain. And the only way to get that out is by taking a little bit of water and a little bit of detergent and just spot treatmenting the stain. The stain might be a little bit damp for like an hour, but now at least you'll never ruin a perfectly good outfit before breakfast. For this little hack, we're gonna be using my favorite thing ever. Crayons! And you would know this if you watched my how to turn crayons into makeup video, my Christmas life hacks, my Christmas edible presents, and my back to school supplies video. So we're bringing them back in for this video too. So if you have a zipper that often gets stuck, just take a crayon and run it along the teeth. Now when you go to zip your hoodie, it'll run smoothly and not get caught on anything. So this one's for when your entire face rubs off on your shirt. So just take some shaving cream and apply it to the foundation stain and then rinse it out with some water. This hack only works on foundation, so don't try it on lipstick or eyeliner. I just wanted to put a face on the shirt for fun. And make sure you use warm water. So now your makeup will be back where it belongs, on your face. 
So, what do you think of the video? Did you enjoy it? Well, if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more of my videos. And if you liked any of the hacks and want to do any of them, definitely let me know in the comments. And definitely comment your favorite hack. I think mine was the shaving one because I've always wanted to know how to get rid of the little pills. So let me know your favorite. And if you try any of them, send me a picture on like Twitter or Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed my previous video, you can click here on the screen and watch it or the link in my description of all my social media. So I'll either see you in that video or my next video. Talk to you guys later. Heart, bye!